Hello everyone, welcome back to Movie Day, the day where we talk about movies. I'm your host, Tremaine Hayho. Today we're talking about the Oscar nominations. Who got nominated? Who cares? <laughs> What's up guys? If you guys know me, um, you know that, uh, I don't even need to be wearing these headphones actually. They're just making me hot. Okay, um, if you know me, you know that I love movies. There's a reason why I started this movie channel, because I like talking about movies and it's an outlet to talk about movies. That being said, I personally really don't give a shit about the Oscars anymore. I The Oscars used to really mean something to me, and they used to really mean something to a lot of people. And, and I feel, as of late, I mean, it just shows that the, the viewership has gone down and people seem to be giving less and less and less a crap about what celebrities think. Also, what you know is that there's a commission of people, the Academy, who decides who is the best of, of these movies. And guess what? Who won Best Picture? Real quick, who won Best Picture last year? Do you remember? No, you don't. Two years ago, who won? Three years ago, who won? What difference does it make? So it's really interesting, though. But it's something that I like to kind of keep my uh, pulse. This is really bugging me right here. Um, you know, I like to keep my finger on the pulse of what's, you know, the who's who of Hollywood or, or, or the movies that are supposed to be winning all these awards. And, you know, it's I quickly glance at this list and I, I printed them out and I just wanted to kind of go through them and talk about who got nominated this year. OK, we'll start off with the like the less sexy i guess parts of the movie industry but i think i think it's all sexy i mean personally i think it's all really sexy um first of all best visual effects uh we've got dune free guy no time to die shang chi in the legend of the ten rings yes a marvel movie got nominated for an oscar oh another move marvel movie spider-man no way home got nominated for an oscar it's really interesting um I guess these are the lead visual effects artists, but they have literally hundreds, if not thousands, of people working on these visual effects. Like, there's maybe one person has the vision of it, but that's why it's always such an interesting thing. People win, like, one person wins an award, or I, I guess there's like a couple people that get nominated uh, at a time. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So, my, I'm going to also choose who should win, who I want to win. Basically, who, who I want to win and then who I think will actually win. Because you learn about these award shows, and this is actually something for another video. Uh, I've learned just from going to the like Golden Globes, Grammys, uh, uh, American Music Awards. Like I've been to all these, these award shows, and I learned a lot by actually going there. Just a humble brag there that I've actually been to these award shows, guys. You know, I'm kind of a huge, big, huge deal. <laughs> Not really, but, like, you learn that it's very political. And it, it's kind of like um, you learn a lot of people get nominated because they want these certain people to uh, show up to the actual award shows. People like Eminem talk, talk bad about the Grammys when they say, yeah, you, you just get, nominate me to show up because they need people to show up. Anyway, that's a whole nother, again, a whole nother take for another video. But um, uh, I, I'm, I have a feeling because I see Dune is nominated. Okay. And this shows Dune is nominated in, in a lot of different categories. Okay. Uh and as you, if you guys know, if you guys saw my worst movies of 2021, Dune's at the top of the list. And that is everything that's wrong with Hollywood today. And it shows that it's all super wrong. And it's this st stupid, incestuous, like, people that think they're so great. And Dune was so pretentious. The most pretentious movie I've ever seen in my entire life. By far, like not even close. It loves smelling its own farts. I know this, but I just know, I just know it. I just know it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to guess that Dune's going to win this one. Um, what, who should win is maybe Spider-Man, No Way Home. I mean, I, I, you know, a free guy I never saw. No Time to Die, I love that movie. 
I would like, I would want No Time to Die to win, just because, shout out to No Time to Die, I love that movie, I love James Bond, I really like the latest James Bond movie. Um, Shang-Chi, I mean, it's like another generic Marvel movie, um, which they did some kind of unique things, I guess, but, uh, I, you know, I kind of forgot about it as soon as I saw it. Uh, and then Spider-Man No Way Home, which is actually very fantastic, that got my the best movie of 2022, Hands down, I thought. Um, so, you know, maybe Spider-Man should win it. Uh, that'd be cool if Spider-Man was an Oscar. <laughs> like, that'd be pretty sweet. All right, next we got Best Production Design. Oh, Dune again. Dune, Nightmare Alley, Power of the Dog. Never saw it. Never heard of it. Tragedy of Macbeth. Never saw it. Never heard of it. <laughs> West Side Story. Never saw it. Never heard it. I know. I'm just kidding. I, I heard a West Side Story. By the way, West Side Story. Did you guys know Steven Spielberg made a movie and it completely bombed? I think it made $4 million at its opening weekend, which is a terrible, like for the budget that they had for West Side Story and for a Steven Spielberg movie, it completely tanked. Why? Because no one is asking to watch West Side Story in 2022. I'm sorry. Nobody gives a shit about West Side Story in 2022. I'm sorry, Steven Spielberg. I love you. You're one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. And I'm sure it's a great, fantastic movie. I have zero attraction to see this movie. I don't want to see it. Maybe I'll see it at some point. I'm not going to go out of my way to watch this movie. It completely tanked. In the box office. And now it's getting nominated for an Oscar. <sighs> okay. i got to chill out for a second here. Um, no, I will not chill out. Okay, anyway. Best production design. Production design is what... Is, it gets so often overlooked in the movies because it's essentially the immer how immersive a world is when you watch a movie. And... Yes, Dune. What, what, what is? <laughs> what's the production design in Dune? The freaking sand dunes? No, I I get it. Like there's some futuristic looking things in the movie. Give me a break, though. That movie was like watching paint dry, and I just could not stand it. Uh, Nightmare Alley. Okay, Nightmare Alley. Completely. I'm just gonna say this right here. Nightmare Alley deserves this award. Nightmare Alley should win for production design. It's completely impeccable production design. The uh, 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 what's her name? Um, I almost said Claire Danes. Definitely not Claire Danes. Um, what's her name? The actress that's in it. Her office is stellar. The whole, the whole carnival at, like atmosphere is so incredible. You feel like it's there. It felt like it was a real, like you were transported back. I believe it's set in the '30s. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I really don't get, care. But it really transports you into the world. Other nominations, yeah, power, yeah, The Power of the Dog, never saw it, never heard of it. Tried to do back, Macbeth, never saw it. Maybe they have great production design, I don't know. West Side Story, God, I groan, I'm groaning. Please don't win West Side Story. It's just, it's just, Nightmare Alley is my choice for best production design. Okay, next one, best interna international feature. I never saw any one of these. Drive My Car from Japan, Flea from Denmark, The Hand of God from Italy, La Lunana, A Yak in the Classroom. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to watch this now. Uh, the Worst Person in the World from Norway. So, Best International Feature. That is something that I sh do need to expand my horizons a lot. There's a lot of great foreign films that I believe get overlooked just because they're foreign. I don't mind watching dubbed movies. I don't mind watching subtitles adding in that extra little bit of effort you know what i mean uh maybe i'll check out some of these but but maybe not if they're like really artsy i'm probably not going to check them out let's be real here uh best cinematography dune okay so that is the one thing i cannot flack dune on the sen cinematography is pretty stellar uh and i'm not i give credit where credit's due absolutely that is one aspect where I do believe that it should win. Um, Nightmare Alley, Power of the Dog, Tragedy of Mac Macbeth, West Side Story. Literally the exact same. The exact, They just literally copy-pasted the best production design and best cinematography. Are there no movies? And also, I'm, I'm like, so, is, so there's five nominations for some. Some, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the whole nomination process works because I guess you can only have five nominations. Um... I, I would say I would want Nightmare Alley to win just because I really love that whole world and the whole aspect. But what I think, who I think will win is Dune. Um, so again, I can't knock it for for 
it's still it does have stellar cinematography as much as I it hate it pains me to give Dune any sort of compliments. You got to look at the silver lining, you guys, and uh, Dune has has that definitely. Okay, best original song. This is I I don't uh, be alive. Music and lyrics by by Dixon for King Richard. Dos Oruguitas by for Encanto. Down to Joy for Belfast. No Time to Die uh, by Billie Eilish. Um, I want that one to win because I like No Time to Die, as I said earlier. Somehow you do. I don't know who's going to win this one. I haven't heard those other songs. Uh, I would I would like No Time to Die to win, but I have a feeling it'll probably be be alive. I, I don't. I really don't know on this one. And look, I'm I'm not going to pretend. A lot of film snobs. Like I'm definitely a film snob, and in, in in a lot of ways, but I'm also a uh, regular audience goer. I, I'm a film lover first. I'm a freaking regular audience member first. Then I'm a critic. Okay. A lot of people might think I'm just this this critic, but I'm not. Anybody can be a critic. You know what I mean? Everybody's a critic. Uh, but I'm a little bit more than that. Okay. Okay. All right. Best live action short. I don't know. Live. Oh, I guess opposed to an animated short. Uh, best live action short. Uh, I, I'm not even going to read all this. Best animated short. I don't give a shit about short films. I'm sorry. Um, best original screenplay. Belfast, written by Kenneth Branagh. You know, I heard about this. Branagh is actually a very underrated actor and director. Uh, he plays Poirot in the latest um, Murder on the Nile movie coming out, which was on my list of upcoming movies for 2022. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Or Death on the Nile, sorry. Um, I'm sure it's a great movie, uh, but I mean, it, I guess it's black and white and looks really depressing, so I, I don't know if I'm going to see that at any time. Uh, I'll at least say that I'm, I'm not in any rush to watch this movie. Um, Don't Look Up, screenplay by Adam McKay, Jan, 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 Jan. Um, King Richard, you know, never saw it. Seems like a decent movie, decent story. Venus and Serena Williams' dad. Am I going to see it anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, Licorice Pizza, it looks very pretentious. Um, written by PTA. PT, Paul Thomas Anderson is obviously a very, very talented um, screenwriter and director. Uh, I would say I would say most likely Licorice Pizza will win. I just spat into the microphone. That was really disgusting. I am so sorry that I'm not sorry. Uh, worst Person in the World, written by Eskil Valk. I have no idea. Never heard of this movie in my life. Who knows? Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Have you guys seen that? Leave that in the comments below. Worst Person in the World. Uh, okay, Best Original... something yeah best original screenplay all right best original score don't look up dune hans zimmer okay look i love hans zimmer maybe dune should win i haven't heard any of the uh, in kanto i never saw it parallel mothers didn't see it power of the dog never saw it um, I think there's another category, adapted screenplay. So Drive My Car, uh, never heard of it. Dune, never heard of her, just kidding. Um, they deserve a Raz Golden Raspberry Award. That's the most boring screenplay I've ever, ever. Uh, I mean, it must be a boring screenplay because it's a boring movie. The Lost Daughter, written by Maggie Gyllenhaal. Okay, that's cool. Never heard of the movie, though. Power of the Dog. I feel like there's some kind of criteria to this damn... Like, that's the thing. Like, have, you, have you guys honestly, objectively heard of these movies, Power of the Dog or Lost Daughter or Drive My Car before me just telling you that these things right now that is nominated for an Oscar? I'm not, I'm not saying that every single movie has to be this big, huge blockbuster movie, but, I mean, it helps to at least hear of these movies. Like, you don't know how the hell it gets nominated because it's... You have no idea where it even came from. So I don't understand. That's why I'm like, all right, this is frustrating. Okay, best original score. I already talked about that. Best sound, Belfast. Never heard of her. Uh, Dune, No Time to Die, Power of the Dog, West Side Story. My selection is 
you guessed it, No Time to Die, baby. The opening scene is so incredible, this movie. With the Aston Martin, the old school car, has the machine guns. Oh my gosh, that, that, like, the sound is incredible. It, in the theater, I saw it in the theaters. Oh, mwah, magnifique. What will probably win is Dune. Um, I hate to say it, it'll probably win. Um, best costume design, Cruella, never saw her. Um, Curiano, Dune, again. Nightmare Alley, West Side Story. <clears throat> now, they might give West Side Story this this thing. I feel like they, they're throwing bones to uh, Spielberg. You know, I feel like Spielberg, because it's this ode to Hollywood heyday, West Side Story, 1966, I believe. 56, 66, I don't know. <coughs> um, they'll probably throw a bone to West Side Story, I feel like. But who deserves to win? Nightmare Alley. 100% Nightmare Alley, baby. Uh, best Supporting Actor, Kyrian Hins from Belfast. Didn't see it. Troy Kotsur from Coda. Never heard of Coda. Have you guys? <laughs> Jesse Plemons, The Power of the Dog. J.K. Simmons, Being the Ricardos. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. But, okay, this is another. Being the Ricardos was unwatchable. I watched the first... 20 minutes of it and I don't know how I lasted even 20 minutes that was just it was so bad it was so miscast J.K. Simmons is a fin- fantastic actor nominate him for some some other movie or, and something else like I feel I feel like sometimes the academy just throws bones at certain actors that they like again it's going back to the whole political thing I believe like Di- when DiCaprio finally won I believe was it for The Revenant when he won the Oscar um, they threw it was like an overdue bone that they threw Leo. You know what I mean? It was it was like something where he should have won it so many times. He could have won it for Titanic. He could have won it for Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, he could have won it for literally name any movie that DiCaprio's The Aviator. He could have won it, and then they get or Revenant. Is it what did I say? I don't know. Whatever the Revenant. I could be wrong with that title, but he won it for that movie, and it's like. That was long. That was, it was just kind of like throwing you a bone at the, at this point. And I mean, look, he probably deserved it at that point, but he, he could have won it way way before that too. So I feel like they're gonna throw a bone at J K Simmons, uh, who who I think should deserve it. I honestly can't. I, it's not J K Simmons because I hated that movie being the Car- Ricardos. I I don't think a crappy shitty movie should, um, even if the acting is phenomenal, if the movie sucks, uh, it should not be nominated for an Oscar. Um. Again, two. So it was kind of interesting. Two different actors from the same movie is is uh, nominated, which is very interesting. Uh, I I don't think I've seen that before. Has that happened before? I'm sure it's happened before. But like, kind of two actors from the same movie competing for an Oscar. That's kind of interesting. Best Supporting Actress, Jessie Buckley, The Lost Daughter, Ariana DeBose, West Side Story, Judy Dench, Belfast. Oh, Judy Dench is amazing. But I feel like she's always the same in everything she does. I want her to win just because I like Judy Dench. Um, Kirsten Dunst, Power of the Dog. Okay, Kirsten Dunst is in that movie. Aon Janu Ellis. Never heard of her. Uh, King Richard. I don't know. Maybe they'll throw it to King Richard. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't really have a pick for this one. I, I haven't seen any of these movies, so I can't. I can't objectively tell you who's the better actor. Um, okay, best actor. I feel like some of this is cut off. My list. Benedict Cumberbun. Um, Okay, best actor, Javier Bardem, uh, does not deserve it. Being the car- where he was a terrible Ricky Ricardo, awful. I'm sorry, he's a fantastic actor, but he was a terrible Ricky Ricardo. Doesn't look like the guy, doesn't act like the guy, does not. I just no. Uh, ben ben-, ben-, ben- Cumberbatch. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Uh, P- Power of the Die, uh, maybe I don't know. Um, Andrew Garfield, Tick, Tick, Boom. Never heard of that movie in, entire li- in my entire life. Is that like that song? Click, click, boom. Um, Will Smith, King Richard, Denzel Washington, Tragedy of Macbeth. Okay, so Denzel's in Tragedy. 
Let's give it to Denzel. Why not? I love Denzel Washington. Let's give it to Denzel. Best actress. Again, like when, I, dude, I I've heard of two of the five movies of people. I have heard of two. If if me, a filmmaker slash film lover slash movie goer, doesn't know of three out of the five damn movies that these stupid freaking Oscars are being nominated for. There's a problem with the Oscars. There's a big problem with the Oscars. If I don't know it, nobody else... Why you? Why do you guys wonder why no one watches the Oscars? They've never heard of any of these damn movies. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But I'm, you know, I'm kind of impartial about my whole opinions on the Oscars. <laughs> All right, best actress, Jessica Chastain. The Eyes of Tammy, Tammy Faye. Oh, another movie I've never heard of in my entire life. Great. Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter. Oh, I, I'm lost knowing that that movie even existed. Penelope Cruz, Parallel Mothers. Sure, why not? I've never heard of that movie in my entire life, but, you know, I like Penelope Cruz. Nicole Kidman, being the car... Record- why? I feel like... Oh, my gosh. She was terrible. Nicole Kidman was terrible in being the Ricardo's. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Nicole Kidman played Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball is a excuse me, genuinely funny, funny, smart, witty girl. When you think of Nicole Kidman, do you think genuinely funny, genuinely smart, genuinely like there's ways to act around that, but you can't fake that. I'm sorry, she was a terrible, horrible Lucille Ball. Cast a nobody so a nobody can get a best actress award nomination thank you Jessica I feel like I'm seeing the same you know you see the same names every year there's no one really new best director okay let's go to the best we're getting to the sexy parts now best director Tremaine Hayhoe thank you thank you thank you Tremaine Hayhoe The Bachelor Party episode 2 is my Oscar that I won for best director The Humble Legend Tremaine Hayhoe if you guys want to watch The Bachelor Party episode 2 it's a Wonderful Lifestyle, The Rise of Showstopper. Watch it. I won this award. Can you argue with this award? No, exactly. Um, all right, so let's go to the best directors. Best director, PTA, Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza. Okay. Kenneth Branagh, Belfast, uh, Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog. Oh, there's that movie again. Rusuki. Hamaguchi, Drive My Car. Never heard of that movie before in my life. Steven Spielberg, West Side Story. So, again, like, they're they're giving Steven Spielberg, a, they're throwing Steven Spielberg a bone. Like, people forget that he even exists, right? I don't know how you forget Steven Spielberg exists, but he's doing, like, whatever the hell he wants to do now. He's obviously not trying to please an audience. He's not trying to, you know, this isn't the Jurassic Park days of Steven Spielberg. Those days are long gone, unfortunately. He's gonna try to do whatever the hell nonsense that he wants to do and he can do it because he earned the right to do it because he's freaking steven spielberg he can do whatever the hell movie he wants to do and get a shit ton of funding for it it could even bomb and it doesn't even matter he'll still get nominated for an oscar so it's it's like <laughs> if you if any other director bombed as hard as spielberg did they would be out of a job and never get never get another job ever again in hollywood but he's steven spielberg so um <clears throat> Who do I want to win? I, you know, the thing is, I've never, I haven't seen a, a single one of these movies, and I don't give a shit about any of these movies. I'm probably not going to see any of them either. So I don't know uh, if anyone, Kenneth Branagh, why not? Kenneth Branagh, Belfast. Let's let's give it to that one. Okay, now best picture. Now this is interesting. Now most nominations are five. There's like five nominations at a time, but like. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten movies got nominated for Best Picture, which I feel like that's really interesting too. I feel like that's another power play too. That's they're like saying, "Hey assholes, hey idiots, uh, audience members, you guys have probably never heard of any of these movies. It doesn't matter because we're gonna nominate these stupid freaking shitty films." And, sorry, they're not shitty. They're artsy. They're really amazing, all of these movies. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, they want to get people to watch these movies, right? The only thing that I see that was actually a, a decent success 
out of these pictures is probably uh, Dune. I mean, I think I, I, I think did Dune even do okay? Did it do okay? I, I think a lot of people love Dune, okay, and I don't understand it. I tried watching it; it was worse than watching Pain Try. Nightmare Alley, I don't think it did pretty well, but I think the budget was relatively modest, so it wasn't that big of a loss. West Side Story, I know, was a big, huge Hollywood blockbuster that completely tanked. Um, it should not get nominated for Best Picture. If you tank, there should be a... The, typically, to me, that's that's my that's kind of a, a big issue with, that I have. It's like a lot of movies will be praised by critics as the greatest thing ever. They'll have all the money in the world to promote it. They'll advertise it, market it ever. I saw billboards for West Side Story everywhere. I saw, uh, I saw uh, trailers for West Side Story everywhere. Did I want to watch it? No. Hell no. Did anyone else want to watch it? No. Hell no. And then it's nominated for Best Picture. <sighs> Guys, just take the L. Dude, like, it should be just swept under the West Side rug. Uh, so, okay. So, anyway... Uh, who 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 do I think deserves it? Um, I would say Nightmare Alley. I really like Nightmare Alley a lot. Uh, but then again, I think that's the only. Did I say? Did I even say the? Did I say all the best? Uh, okay, if I didn't, I, my memory is. I don't know what's going on today. Uh, okay, so best picture: Belfast. Never saw it. Coda. Never heard of it. Don't look up. I haven't seen it. Drive my car. Haven't seen it. Dune. Worst piece of shit movie ever. Uh, King Richard, I, I might see it at some point in time. Licorice Pizza, might see it at some point in time. I'm not in a rush to watch it. Nightmare Alley, uh, fantastic film. I really liked it. Kind of kind of rubs you the wrong way in a weird way, but that's a good thing. I think that's like it was a deep and interesting movie. Power of the Dog, again, never heard of her. Um and then West Side Story. So I, I would say, I hope, I would hope Nightmare Alley wins because I've actually seen that movie and I know that it's a really good movie. Everything else I can't really say. Who do I think will win? It looks like Dune might come away with Best Picture. I don't know. If Dune comes away with Best Picture, that would be interesting. That would be really interesting. I feel like this is another, this is another kind of makeup for Denis Villanueva because... I don't think Blade. I don't think he won any Oscars for Blade Runner, which is a fantastic film. Blade Runner twenty forty nine is one of my favorite films of all time. Fantastic film. Loved it from start to finish. Seen it multiple times. And I feel like they're kind of making up for that because they realize how great of a movie it is. Um, and then now he made Dune, and uh, I did like the the uh, dragonfly um, helicopter things, but that's about it. Well, that's about it. So those are my picks out of the nominees of the Oscars in 2022. What do you guys think? Leave that in the comments below. Have you guys seen any of these movies? <laughs> like, I've seen maybe 10% of these movies. So, um, yeah, Power of the Dog leads nominees for the 94th Annual Academy Awards with 12 nominations. Never heard of the damn movie, but it's gotten uh, 12 nominations. Um... So, yeah, Belfast, Dune, King Richard, West Side Story. Yeah, that's a lot. It's pretentious films that take themselves way too seriously. You know, they're going to win an Oscar. whoopity do. All right, guys. I'm sorry if I sound so cynical. It's just like I just – it's just I get so jaded by seeing these lists. and and. But I like talking about it, obviously. I love talking about movies. I love talking about – um you know, award shows, of course, if, if and when any of my movies that I ever make – get nominated that'd be incredible that would be a dream come true let alone win an oscar i mean that, that'd be a wildest dream come true i just don't like i just feel like there should be some kind of merit system in a way that if a movie is a box office success but maybe not necessarily a critical success it should get in some kind of category right there should be a even a popular movie if you know there should be a popular movie category there should be other like best action movie, you know, best comedy, best, you know, I didn't see any of that here, right? So I, I just, there's, it, it, everything's pigeonholed to these overly pretentious, shitty movies that I don't like, um, in my humble opinion, other than Nightmare Alley. Um, but like, 
Yeah, they 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 really need to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They need to do something with these Oscars, or or they're going to continue. And I don't know if they even have a host this year. They're they're so politically correct, and there's probably no host because they're too scared. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's uh, the list of the Oscars. What did you guys think? Leave that in the comments below. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.